during your, your uh, community, communities matter uh, tour? It's been really wonderful and what a privilege to be traveling and doing it low carbon by train. So far we took the train from Ottawa through um, Quebec and into the Maritimes. We've been in Community Matters tours since March 1st when I got on the train in Vancouver. Now some of the communities that don't often see a, a federal party leader, Kamloops and Prince George and Ashcroft and of course Edmonton and Calgary are large centers, but we've been in, in Saskatoon and Regina and we're moving on into Manitoba before Parliament resumes on Monday. Uh, and it's really important to stress how much Canadians are Canadians wherever you are. That far too many politicians want to divide us and to say, well, the British Columbia is built like Albertans and that. It's not true. We're all neighbors, we're friends, we're, we're related to each other, we're family. So in Canada, there's much more that we have in common than in the difference. And that's what comes through to me. Uh, for example, when you go from region to region, you realize that every part of Canada is suffering from a loss of bus service. Nobody talks about it. We lost Greyhound bus in BC. We lost the Maritime buses in Atlantic Canada. Here we've lost the bus service through Saskatchewan. I was on the um, uh, there was the substitute bus. It was Rider a, Express. Really, yeah, the the, uh, the Rapid Express. Rider uh, Express. Uh, uh, Rider Express. Thank you for reminding me. So I was on Rider Express yesterday, but the the main bus lines have withdrawn service, and there just isn't service. And this isn't just one region or one province. Everywhere in Canada is struggling with a loss of public transportation and no one's talking about it. So it's really good to go from, from region to region, province to province, when you hear the same thing in a lot of places and you realize, I'm not hearing that in Parliament. Maybe we ought to do something about that. Thank you. And uh, how uh, would you try to convince uh, Saskatchewan people, uh, which uh, in the, it's the province where uh, they're really strongly against uh, carbon tax. So how do you manage to, uh, what's your strategy to uh, convince them that uh, the Green Party is a solution for them? Well, one thing people need, we, we all need to think about as, as grown-ups, as responsible adults, why is it that some politicians want us to be more afraid of solutions to climate change than ignoring it and letting it do its worst? This is a community that is, this is a province that has traditionally relied on agriculture. We're setting in place conditions that will make agriculture virtually impossible. We're setting in place conditions that will make the future for our children highly problematic, potentially impossible. So it's not a question of do you like carbon taxes or not, because if you don't like them, what are you going to do instead? We have to move off of fossil fuels. We have to, and when I say we, I mean all of humanity. All the governments on Earth have accepted the science. They understand that we have to move. And even though our neighbors south of the border, the White House doesn't understand, to this day, the United States is still producing greenhouse gases faster than Canada. So the solutions are in the thousands. Hard to put them into one small soundbite. But transiting from fossil fuels to relying on renewables, solar and wind and geothermal, to alternative fuels from biofuels, for instance, not from growing crops that we then make biofuels, but for instance, harvesting the, the used chip fat from every fast food place across the province becomes biodiesel, which is for tractors and for, okay, not Saskatchewan so much, but for fishing boats across the country, for proper, you know, sustainable forestry is still a good option, but we have to replant our trees. We have to do much more with tree planting, much more with local gardens. People in Saskatchewan know how to do these things. We can all be part of the solution together. And I think Canadians working together can do anything. And I really encourage other politicians not to keep stressing that we have divisions and start working together to show all of us that there's a way forward, kind of like a war effort, kind of like going back to thinking about what we did as Canadians in the face of fascism in the Second World War. We know how to band together. We know how to work together. And that's what we need right now. Well, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Can you give a poll? Just sure. to get